You're listening to The Satin Lounge with Kieran A. And that was a beautiful remix of a song called Nothing Matters uh, featuring Soul Persona of the UK and our Pillow Talk special guest, Miss Deborah Bond. I love that vibe. Thank you. Me too. <laughs> that remix is off the chain. I, I am. I'm loving it. <laughs> Loving it. <laughs> well, we all are loving it. Um, so, I'm so proud of you. You're on your third album now. Yeah. Uh huh. Can you pronounce uh, the title uh, of the album for me? Yes, it is Madame Palindrome. Okay, please explain, describe wh- why the name. Madame Palindrome. It's, it took an interesting journey to develop that name, but it, it really started from. Uh, the midway process of writing the album uh, mm-hmm. along with the, the guys of Third Logic and trying to think early on what we could call the album. We, we decided to listen to the lyrics of the songs that we had so far mm-hmm. and we noticed a little pattern of a few of them, I think there were five at the time, maybe three or four of them were about having two different perspectives, okay. but the perspectives in some way had a similarity to each other. And strange, my, my bass player, Chuck, he's explaining, like, you know, a palindrome is, is a, a really cool play in perspective because a palindrome is a word or a, a picture or a sentence that reads the same forward and backwards. So, madam, M-A-D-A-M, if you spell it backwards. Same, exactly. Yeah. So, we just, we just he, once we put that together and we started to think on it, we were like, yeah, this is actually really cool. And I... I started to think, when I thought Madame Palindrome, I immediately thought of the visual of something kind of regal and royal, like a queen or a princess. Or, mm-hmm. um, I started to call Madame Palindrome the queen of perspective, you know, someone that tries to understand something from more than one side, but trying to find a, a common ground mm-hmm. um, in the middle. And uh, once we, we decided that that was a, a really cool title, then we went forward to really just try to make the rest of the album a bit more magical, um, to have a different type of perspective in every page of the booklet. So mm-hmm. there's all of these really cartoony pictures overlaid on oh, very yeah. cool picture photography. You know, we just wanted to take you know that idea and and bring the listener to a, a different dimension, um, similar to what we've been influenced by. You know. I think all of the tracks are hot on this CD as well. Thank I particularly you. like uh, the the Blind Paradise. Oh yes, um, 535. Mm-hmm. Uh, Perfect is good, but my fa- my favorite my favorite my favorite is is uh, You Are the One. Yes, and, <laughs> and the the video to it, uh, which we're featuring at the Satin Lounge dot com. Uh, check that out. It's so cute and Thank awkward you. and quirky <laughs> and and unique and creative who came up with that concept for the video thank you uh it's the it's a partnership with these guys that we found online called fresh kill we thought it was the wildest name corresponded with hilton carter in la and he came up with this really cool idea i i told him i didn't want this it's a lovey song but mm-hmm. i didn't want the video to be super lovey mm-hmm. that i wanted it to play you know on perspective i wanted it to make you think or just puzzle you maybe a little bit or mm-hmm. just make you feel something a little different than you might think that you're going to feel when you just listen to the song. And he came up with this perspective play on a, a real girl in a paper world getting ready for her date with a paper guy in the real world. <laughs> I loved it so much. She's yeah. holding in the video. Please take the time to go and watch the video. We, she's holding a, a, a piece of paper basically shaped like a, a bar of soap. Yeah. It has the word <laughs> soap on it. And she's in the shower with paper drawn uh, curtains and yeah. paper bubbles. Paper bubbles, and yeah. It's just, it's so creative. I and enjoyed I, it. Thank you. I have to give a big shout out. Hilton on the West Coast planned to come to the East mm-hmm. to do this video, but he ended up getting a really cool um, project in L.A., and he passed it on to Aaron Keeney, his partner in Baltimore. Mm-hmm. And Aaron pretty much transformed his entire house 
hits. And I'm telling you, a good 90% of everything you saw in the video were actual real items that were drawn on paper or covered mm -hmm. in paper. So there wasn't too much green screen. There were like a few effects here and there, but mm -hmm. I was, was at a real sink. I was mm -hmm. inside of a real shower. I was in a real bed. Mm -hmm. All of that stuff. He, he <laughs> took that, that house and he made it like a wow. little wonderland. And it was so much wow, fun. Wow, thank you, Aaron. We love yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Well, uh, Deborah, we, I wanted to talk a little bit about how, how long you've had us waiting with bated breath. Uh, very much worth the wait. But, Thank you. Uh, where the hell you been? I mean... Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. You know. Day after was like a slow burn. I don't know. Mm -hmm. it, it took a very, very long time for people to get hip to us. Um, uh -huh. You know, probably because we're independent. We don't have the kind of exposure that we want. Mm -hmm. But also because um, it felt like for our the audiences that we were performing for that they, they weren't quite sure how they felt about us they, they didn't really know what to make of my sound mm -hmm. and it was it, it took a while for us to grow on people so we spent a good few years just really gigging um, around town mm -hmm. and um, we've gotten really 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 um, seasoned with our stage performing at this point you unit. always had a pretty seasoned stage oh presence to me. Make that's, me blush. <laughs> that's just my honest opinion. I, I mean, I, 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 I felt a lot of growth. I'm definitely, and I'm still growing. Okay. But um, I have been working really hard on my stage game with, with the fellows of Third Logic. Okay. And um, We'll have to just come out and see you again. That's what that is. Oh, you do. Oh, yeah. And I have I have a treat for you. Um, oh. I, I'm, I'll just surprise you, and you can share it when you like. But I'm not even going to say it now. But I have something. Speaking of performances, I have something for you to share. Um, and we, we, you'll see, we've, we've grown. But um, oh, wow. I, I see how she did that. <laughs> I, uh, I, I had a moment um, after, of, of writer's block. I have to be honest. I had a, a good year and a half or two where I could not. I just couldn't create. I was very distracted by all kinds of things going on in my life and definitely won't leave my fans waiting that long the next time around. But for this particular album, I don't know if it was because it's my second album and I felt I had to, to really meet a certain level of expectation. Yeah, yeah maybe a little pressure. A little yeah, pressure. but I wanted to, these songs to really have some some depth uh, mm -hmm. lyrically and, and production-wise and arrangement-wise. So... Mm -hmm. Uh, it took me a lot longer to get through writing some of these songs, and I, I really didn't think it was going to take that long, but it, it really did. So in the meantime, we did a lot of just performing, um, and I mean, I've jumped, uh, been on the bill with so many of my like people that I love and adore in music, Mint Condition and mm -hmm. Guapale I mean, and Yazara and Frank. Yeah, and, Rashad Patterson. Yeah, I've been doing mm -hmm. a lot of backing of um, mm -hmm. of some of my favorite artists as well, which has been great experience for me just to step back from being the lead and to learn from another type of leader. So I've I've done stuff with Adriana Evans, with uh, Lettucey, mm -hmm. with Frank McComb and oh, Gordon yeah, Chambers. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm I've been doing I've been in the mix in so many different ways. I had a radio show on the, that time it was on XM satellite radio did you for just a little say, while. Wait, wait. <laughs> Wait, did you just say you did radio? You were I did doing radio. radio. <laughs> what? I'm still doing a little bit. I'm still doing radio. That's so awesome. Yeah. Congratulations. I, like, I've been kind of exploring just the music in me from different angles over these these years mm -hmm. and um, just kind of finding just finding my way until we really felt like we wanted this album, you know, the album was ready to release. So, um, Well, I'm a firm believer that you're always at sync with time. Things that's right. happen that's exactly the moment they should. So this particular CD, Madam Palindrome, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what do you uh, want people to take from this album? What do you like most about this album? Two things. The social messages. Um, mm -hmm. This one... I'm, I'm not a political personality. I'm more of a sociological type of person. I okay. study people and then the, what what makes them Plus tick and what you know that type of thing. And mm -hmm. I tried to write songs. In addition to the lovey songs, I wanted to write songs that had a message about the day to day things that we go through in life. Socially conscious. Yeah, and like, you know songs like Perfect, where I'm just 